Hi, uh, in this video I will talk about the uh, Children of Israel Surah and, uh, and the verses 94 and 95. What prevented the people from believing when the guidance came to them? Is there saying, did God send a human being as a messenger? Say, if the earth were inhabited by angels, we would have sent down to them from the sky an angel, an angel messenger. So it shows that <clears throat> a messengership is part of the test. So that's why that it is important that God is uh, sending human as a, as a messenger. So this is the method. So otherwise, what is the point of being a, being a test? If they have like extraordinary things or forcing power so they cannot uh, or, or pressuring them to believe something it's not God want God wants to test people so making a messenger as human is important and it can make it real test God suffices as a witness between me and you he is fully cognizant of his worshippers seer remember God God is the truly guided one and remember him sends astray, you will never find for them any lords and masters beside him. We will summon them on the day of resurrection forcibly, blind, dumb, and deaf. Their destination is hell. Whenever it cools down, we will increase, as far, increase their fire. So it shows that uh, destination, uh, the, the fire in the hell is actually... Uh, similar to the one in the world and the power comes from God and uh, and then they will be punished uh, in the hell such is their re just retribution since they rejected our revelations they said after we turn into bones and fragments that we get resurrected into a new cre creation could they not see that the God who created the heavens and the earth is able to create the same creations he has predetermined for them an irrevocable lifespan, yet the disbelievers insist upon disbelieving. Proclaim, if you possessed my Lord's treasure of mercy, you would have withheld them, fearing that you might exhaust them. The human being is stingy. So this is a, a psychology of human being, and uh, they're, they're stingy and they're not like a god and uh, they don't have uh, even they have like the the treasure the treasures of mercy uh, and we, we we might uh, think that ex exhaust them because it's how we think is it's our about our creation we supported Moses with the nine profound miracles asked the children of Israel when he went to them Para said to him, I think that you, Moses, are bewitched. He said, You know full well that no one can manifest these ex except obviously the Lord of the heavens and the earth. I think that you, Paro, are duped. When we pursued them as, ch as we he chased them out of the land, we drawn him, together with those who sided with him, all of them, and we said to the children of Israel afterwards, afterwards Go live in this land when the final prophet prophecy comes to pass we will summon you all in the group truthfully we sent it down and with the truth it came to came down we didn't send you except as bearer of good news as well as runners a crown a crown that we released slowly in order for you to read it to the people over a long period although we sent it down all at once proclaim Believe in it or do not believe in it. Those who possess knowledge from the previous scripture, when it is recited to them, they fall down to their chins, prostrating. Um, so that it, this surah also explained that uh, example. So why um, we have cited in this Quran many examples, examples, all kinds of examples that they may take heed. So it is like a general statement about the Quran and how it helps people and they should uh, read it and, and patiently 
and and we should read it very uh, often to understand it so uh, anyway thanks for watching this video and hope to see you in the next video